Last week's monstrous yield drop took markets by surprise. What's to blame and does it signal a new paradigm for interest rates? Hi, I'm Jim Griffin of Derivative Logic, here to get you straight to smart. Various narratives have been offered as the catalyst for the drop in yields, but no consensus thesis has emerged just yet. Among the factors cited are increasing concerns over the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus, signs that global growth and inflation may have peaked, fears of a slowdown in China's credit growth, and a flatter yield curve due to the Fed's inflation vigilance. While many are now recalibrating their interest rate forecasts, you can be sure that at the very least, it's a signal that the global recovery may not proceed as smoothly as previously expected. What's our take? Peak reopening optimism this spring meant economic forecasters, like us, sketched a wide range of potential paths for America's economic trajectory this year, with most eyeing substantial upside. These forecasts came with increasing inflation and rising interest rates. Markets manifested these views in the wildly popular recovery trade, where investors bought into sectors of the economy that they felt would benefit from the Fed and the Treasury's massive money printing and low interest rate policy tools. The recovery trade has now come under threat. The question now is, who or what sullied it, really, and why? Keep reading for a short list that's going to make you a lot more interesting at cocktail parties and during meeting chatter at the start of all those dreaded Zoom calls we're on. For the week ahead, a slate of key data lies in wait, which will help to narrow the range of possible economic trajectories even further than that seen last week. From all of us at Derivative Logic, have a great week.